Hello and welcome to another episode of POP17. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Virgin, TechCrunch, and Perquette PR for helping to make this possible. Aside from a little bit of help from my friends, what does it take to make an episode of POP17? Well, I've got a lav mic, a couple of lights, and a printout of the New York City landscape. Lights are just two halogen lamps, each around 750 watts. Halogen bulbs are a bit more expensive, but they look really sharp and last much longer than incandescent bulbs at the same wattage. I've got my microphone kit and my HDV Handycam. It's an HD camera, price point $1,200, that's a really good deal for somebody who's doing an independent show like myself. I've got this poster behind me here of the city of Manhattan, and it only cost me $150 to print at Kinko's. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. If you noticed, I started off with one that had a sunset, and now I've photoshopped that photo to print it again, so it's right in the morning. Who knows, maybe one of these days I'll have one at night. All I did is I went on Flickr to find a Creative Commons search. I checked the box and I looked for all the cityscapes of New York City to find the one that I liked the best for my backdrop. Publishing is really easy too. All you gotta do is open up Fugu or Transit, upload your files into 3GP, M4V, MOV, WMV, and you got it set. I always edit in Final Cut Pro. Seriously, I never edit in anything else. I bought Final Cut Studio. But when Joe's available, I always prefer to have him edit because he's so creative and he makes a world of difference. You know, it's good. I like editing a lot on Final Cut Pro, not iMovie. <laughs> Final Cut's fun. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah, you're on Final Cut Pro too. Yeah. I like the. Um, I use a lot of motion graphics for your show with uh, uh, pre made ones that you just place on top of the video, and uh, they have alphas embedded in them, so you just find a little spot that you use for the transition and then. Uh, you join your two video pieces mm -hmm. and you've got a fancy transition. There you have it. It doesn't take a lot of money to do this in equipment costs and production materials. What it really comes down to is just having some talented people. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in a comment. Or you can shoot me an email, sarah at pop17.com. I'm happy to elaborate.